Hello and welcome to another bot vs bot game from the SSCAI tournament 2013. Um, this time it's Crasio bot vs uh, Marianne de Wecker, uh, aka Killer bot. And uh, this is a game from the quarterfinals, from the non-competitive um, tournament where the best eight bots uh, play against each other. So this is round one of uh, Maria de Wecker versus Krasimir Khrushchev. And Krasimir Khrushchev is the red Terran in the top right. And Maria de Wecker is one of our view Zerg bots uh, that are in. That's, uh, but nonetheless, uh, he's a very strong bot, has a very powerful attack timing. And let's see how this uh, game turns out. One of the reasons why Zerg bots are so scarce is probably because they have um, they can only build on creep, which makes building placement a little bit awkward, and uh, they have to decide between worker production and army production, and uh, that's a very complicated thought process that which is very hard to model for an AI. Also, they ha they like to have more bases because more bases means more production facilities for Zerg and often uh, there are bots which are very rush heavy and it's very complicated to find the right number of worker to dash out as Zerg um, to still be um, safe against everything. Uh, yeah, looks like Marianne de Wecker is going for hatchery first, which is a bit, little bit risky, but I guess the pool is f will be following soon. And uh, this drone, yeah. In the meantime, uh, Krasimir Khrushchev is just building barracks, delay delaying his gas a little bit. Don't know what he will do with that. out and what is this SV going? What is he planning? Yeah, he, he puts down the bunker just to be safe. Didn't really have to because spawning pool is not even finished, but better safe than sorry and yeah, an early Zerg rush is very very dangerous for a Terran, especially when you didn't uh, wall in. But no, the bunker is ready, and as we can see, Maria de Wecker has no has no intention of going all out. He has a few circlings, but those are just to make sure everything's fine. Oh, two hatcheries! <laughs> that's that's going to be a lot of production. That's uh, again all workers. Started mining gas. He delayed his gas very, very long, so he can uh, get an early expansion, which is very nice. So, oh no, move back, move back. But okay, those circlings are not the most important circlings, so it's okay to lose them as long as he survives. And yeah. I guess this is going to be a, sp a spine crawler or a sunken colony. Sorry, <laughs> Starcraft Two is <laughs> is everywhere, uh, and here's a hydrolisk then. So what is he going to do? A very fast lair tech, and now there's engineering bear and factory on the way. And a little refreshment for those who <laughs> haven't played StarCraft 1 in a very long time. Uh, Hydralisks, as soon as Lair Tech is finished, can be used to um, um, produce lurkers. 
Lurkers, uh, this is an upgrade. You build Hydralisk, you get the upgrade, then you can morph from a Hydralisk the Lurker. Lurker can borrow and have a very strong attack. I guess he's going to do that. Yep, here's the upgrade and uh, we have to see how fast he wants to attack with them or whether it's only um, for defensive purposes. He has one scouting circling here in front. This missile turret is really important. Here we can see that Krasimir's bot knows his timings because uh, if Lurker are undetected, they can kill everything and he has no uh, he has an academy but no combat stations. Um, and this turret will give protection, so if Lurkers are going to um, borrow here the bunker, I don't know if the bunker can reach it, but he will have a siege tank very soon. Are there any Hydralisks on the way? Yes, there's one. There's another one. And another one. So three Hydralisks for now. <laughs> and still the scouting worker is still alive. That's a little bit of a blunder, but nothing too serious. There's a tank. Oh, two tanks. That's looking very good. Um, and if he puts down the concert station, even a run by would be. Well, ah, with the siege tanks, he's completely safe. And we are only six minutes into the game. There are the first lurkers. Oh, it's a lot of lurkers. If he can focus down this turret, he has a chance, but that's his only chance, and there's a concert station, which will be able to scan, so this is very dangerous for, for Marianne Deveka. Oh, yep. Those circling, circlings are testing the water, and now he Starts with five, six lurkers, and a little bit more behind that. So, and uh, let's see. No, this is going to die. Yeah, they don't even attack. It's a perfect defense from Krasimir Khrushchev, and yeah, now he's on the retreat and has to. Uh, yeah. Look what he can do. He is pretty safe, uh, but uh, siege tanks don't care about sunken colonies. Um, I'm going to speed this game up at least. Ah, yes. Another hatchery here, but so that it's well. Oh, another free lurker. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's even the scan. If <laughs> because this turret can only look till about here. You don't want lurkers that can uh, borrow at this. And yeah, um, now what's the supply? It's 71 to 73, so our Zerg is still, still in this game. And he has a few workers here, which is quite nice. If those <laughs> patrolling vultures don't, um, don't scout it. But even if there, there are enough circlings to push back a lot. So and now he moves out again. Scouted by this uh, vulture. No spider mines inside, but this could be. Ooh. 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 Yeah, that's not pretty. So many. Oh, but at least he gets to the first line of tanks, but no. Nope. And he has to scan to reveal everything, and. Yeah, no, the supply is 84 to 63. And that's never a good sign when the Terran is uh, leading. 
in the supply. So, will there be a third push from Marianne? No, he tries to defend this, yeah, and it's fortunate that this Vulture doesn't go further. Yes, it's the second armory upgrades are uh, just started, but with that's a strange position of a factory. <laughs> but yeah, Marian tries to gather the, uh, his forces, but yeah, at this time, because uh, Casimir went mech, those tanks will crush everything. Yeah, even with tanks from here and... Oh! Uh, irradiate. That's a very strong spell against... Against Zerg. Oh, yeah. Uh, at least he has this factory under control. <laughs> but he uh, can even transfer all the workers uh, down to his Zerg base and... Oh, see. Lies 150 to 130, still pretty close, but the quality of this mech army is insane and they will have 1-1 one, one very soon, even the science vessels, so detection is absolutely no concern. And uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, and the radiate goes down and yes, it's scan. It trades a little bit efficient, but not efficient enough, I would say, yeah. Krasimir supply is <laughs> standing strong. And those lurkers are re really expensive. <laughs> Yes, so still have 100 supply, that's a little, but it's not enough. <laughs> to the 150 from Casimir. And this is a really beautiful army. Only thing, thing that could help would be uh, um, yeah, Brute Lords, uh, <laughs> I mean Guardians, but. Uh, uh, is he on hive tech? No, he's still on lair, and so that's not going to happen. And Krasimir is on the way. He knows he has a pretty, pretty big advantage, and now it, he just has to push it. Oh, and Ariane's bot tries to communicate. <laughs> hey, this is all oh, money. Uh, Grasmir's army is very cautious, it uh, shouldn't be, but hey. Well. Wow, what a bloodbath, what a slaughter. And yeah, Grasmir's remains at 180 supply. Fancy use of some science vessel spells. And Marion is down to 100 supply. And yeah. This won't be broken. It's not that many tanks, but <laughs> with the science vessels and so many Goliaths uh, on 1 1, and Marianne has uh, at least two Carpes, so it's about even. Uh, but no. Tanks and science vessels versus lurker circling. That's no good. Yeah, and even a few missile turrets. Why not? 
I like to do that as well when I want to uh, in StarCraft 2 when I <laughs> try to demolish my opponent. Oh, sure, you can hold your bears. I just built a few missile turrets directly in front of her. Yeah. And you can see on the minimap that this game is pretty much decided. That's why I'm going to speed it up. He's slowly edging forward here. Killed the defenses and... No position for Zerg Extractor. <laughs> That's not your biggest uh, problem right now, really. And so, yeah. for the cleanup of Grasimir's bot, I'm gonna switch to 16. It's still sometimes a problem for um, artificial intelligences to find every building on the map because it's not so... it's not trivial. It's easy, but it's not so that easy. And many just don't uh, even bother to making it good because they just want to win the game. And it's more important to really beat the opponent than finding his last uh, extractor on the map. But in this tournament he has to find it, and otherwise it's a draw. So, yeah. But Krasimir's bot is good enough to find everything and wipe out the Zerg. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching it and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.